So in our last video, we were able to create this component for desktop successfully in normal state and also active state. So here it is, right? So it all looks good. The button hover is working perfectly. Now the next step is to make this work in mobile, okay? So if I open this back and use this little thing here in my, um, in my inspector and select, for example, iPhone, okay? It's just, um, it just fitting in and it becomes smaller actually and it may break actually in some other browsers. And that's what we don't want to achieve. We want to have a different look and feel for the mobile. So let's jump into that. So first thing we do for, um, responsiveness you need to target the breaking points where this can break and let's start with big one and then we'll start inspecting it later and see if we can change it or not okay so first thing you start with something called media queries um so you start with add media and you say screen okay and and then you have your condition i'll say for now Target for me only the devices or screens which you have with less than 800 pixels, okay? So all this design new one we'll do here, it will be only for screens which are less than 800 pixels. Anything above it, it will work same the way we have for desktop, okay? Now, first things first, from the top to the down, we have this uh, purple now item, it is on the top and not on the left, okay? So how we do that? Because we use flex before in the main card, right? Display flex. We have the items aligned next to each other. But if you use direction, then it will put them on top of each other, okay? So let's use the direction and change it. So that's for my main card. I'll go back to my media query. I'll say this inside there. So my actual card, I want the flex direction to be column now. Okay. I will not save it. Let me open the browser and save. And nothing happened at the moment because this is big window. But if I make it smaller, let me use responsive and this didn't change yet, but it's supposed to change. And the reason why it didn't change is if you follow up with me in the first video, I removed something from the head tag, which was a meta tag for the viewport. So I need to put that one back. So I'll go inside my head element in HTML and I'll just put that one back here. Okay. So that is your meta tag for the viewport. Okay. So if you don't have that in, your media queries in CSS will not work. I click save and there we go. Boom. Immediately it changed. Okay. So this is good. So now we have our elements aligned together on top of each other, not next to each other. And you can see here, that's my breaking point. So if I become more than 800, then it will be back. Go less than 800, then it will go on top of each other. So I feel like 800 is too big because it's not breaking when it's changing yet. So let's change 600 and even this one still look good. Okay. Now with less than 600, it would change. Okay. Good. Okay. So the first thing is done for us is just putting this one on top of this item. Now let's inspect inside of it and see if there's any font size changing or anything else has changed. So let's start with first one. So the font size now for this one is 18 pixels and currently how much it is. I'll go inspect it. It is 24 pixels. So yes, the font sizes will be changing in the mobile too. So here I'll just copy the selector that I used before and go inside my media queries and change it. Okay. So the H3, the font size will be now 18 pixels. save go back to my browser and you can see here now because you have to learn the inspector as well how to inspect your elements so you can see here before it was font is font size 24 pixels it's crossed and the reason why it's crossed because there's something overwriting it which is your media query okay and it's same selector but the font size is 18 pixels okay that has changed now let's see the spacing 
So spacing is 24 pixels, which was before 35 pixels. So we have to change that as well. Okay. So margin bottom 24 pixels. And that's very expected because usually in mobile, you want um, the content to fit in your small screen. So usually if you have big fonts and big spacing in desktop, those will be reduced in your mobile version. Okay. Now, this broke for some reason. A reason why it's broken because still we didn't fix the whole width of our card. So you remember before we said that um, the card width was having an exact width of 736 pixels. And of course, that's why it's bigger than your viewport. So we have to change that. Usually responsive, you'll not be putting pixels anymore. You'll be putting percentages, okay? So I will say my card should fit, let's say, with um, 90% so it doesn't touch my corners, but it just fits in the screen. And you can see here, it just fits in the screen, this little bit on the right and little bit on the left. Okay, nice. So we fixed our card overall and we fixed our top level. Let's see the next section, which is um, our circle. And I remember before it was 200 pixels each. And we can just go debug it, of course, and see. So this is our overscroll. So it was 200 pixels. But in mobile, we want that to be 140 pixels. Okay. So I'll just go again, copy my uh, class name or the selectors I used. And I'll say the width is 140 pixels and the height is 140 pixels okay same thing now for the content here we used 56 pixels no currently it's asking 56 pixels but currently what we have is 72 pixels okay and this is the class name i'll copy that again go inside my media query and change that and the font weight is still the same okay let's click save go back there inspect it to make sure it's really working so yes yeah, see in smaller window is 56 and 72 is crossed if i make it bigger then it will stay 72 the other one disappeared make it smaller that one is crossed and the new one appeared okay now the next one is um the down one here so how much it is now it's 16 pixels and currently i believe it is 18 pixels which is the default one so i'll just copy the inspector i used before and i will say the font size now is 16 pixels click save and that looks great now next part is the spacing between the round thing and the header which is 24 and I think currently it is how much? It is 28. Okay, so the overall score margin bottom should be 24 pixels. Okay, good. Now let's do uh, the heading, the grade, the label. So the current font size is 24. At the moment, how much it is? It's 32. So I'll copy this again, same inspect I used, paste it inside my media query, and say font size is 24 pixels. Okay, let's also check the spacing. The spacing is 8. Currently, it is 14. So I'll reduce that. Margin bottom, it's 8 pixels. Click save and there you go. See, things are getting smaller. Again, this is big, this is smaller. I'll just double check. There we go. My margin button is crossed, the previous one, and also the font size, and the new one I replaced. Now, next one is the text. I believe it will be also 16 pixels. Yeah. Let's go there. Copy again. Same select I used before. Paste it inside my media query. And I'll say font size is. 16 pixels and one thing i can do to clean up and make less code i can see these two here i'm both using them only to reset the font size so 
I can remove this and add them together. So I can say comma and then paste the other one. Okay, and remove this. So let's go and cleaner one. So what I'm, what I'm saying is I have two elements, two different elements, but both of them will have font size of 16 pixels inside my media query. Okay, nice. So the first section is done. Oh no, wait. The padding, the spacing here inside my card around, I think should be less. Let me double check. Make this one smaller, my design. And let's double check. So we have 57 and 40. 57, 40. Let's go to my card. And it's 57 and 40. So it is definitely different. So I'll go and reset this. So I don't have this yet. I will go here and I will paste it right there. And let's do padding and add my new padding. Okay. So on top is 24 pixels. On the right is 57. On the bottom is 40. Oh, this one should be 57. On the bottom was 40 pixels and on the left is 58 pixels. Click save. And there we go. And that's make us done with the first section. Now the second one is the summary. So let's start again with this. The font size is 18 pixels. Currently is how much? We did before is 24 okay so i copy again same selector i used before inside my media query i'll say font size is how much we said for the new one 18 pixels okay and let's say the spacing 24 and currently it is 28 so also that need to be changed margin bottom 24 pixels okay that's good now next thing is these labels here so let's check if anything has changed the padding 17 on top let's see if there's any difference so not much difference really so i'll keep them the same let's check the size of the text so the text, it is standard 18 pixels, okay? And let's see now how much it is. It's 16, so we need to change that. So basically I'll go to subject name, that's the wrapper of my span, and then I'll say span, and I'll say font size, 16 pixels. And that should change the font size of all these, okay? Not only one of them, okay? Now let's check the numbers on the right. How much is font size? It's also 16 pixels. And currently I believe they are bigger as well. Um, those are 18 pixels. Okay, so I will go again to my subject score, which is this wrapper for both numbers because both numbers font size will be changed. Okay, so I will use the same generic select I used before here for the colors. And we'll just use it to change the font size of both of them to 16 pixels. Okay, nice. So that has changed as well. Again, you see here, I have a few things that only reset in the font size. So I'll copy this and add it to here. You see, we have lists of items. We're changing font size, comma, my new one. Okay, and remove this. And also copy this one and remove it and add it to my previous list. Oops, what is it? Let's go back. Comma. And again, my new class. Okay. And that should work. Nice. Now let's check the space in between the labels. Has it changed? So 16 pixels between them and subject score and that's 16 pixels so it's still the same it didn't change so all good i think we made our card really work so 
you can see I can resize my window here don't look at it because there's no way you will have a mobile with 180 pixels the minimum one in the, the guide was we go back here 375 so that was the minimum if I copy it here that's the one here 375 so that one is working as expected okay so our card is not fully responsive end to end so give it a try by yourself see how you go the colors I was picking from the Figma file uh, of course if you don't have a pro uh, pro and you don't have Figma file by yourself you can just get the colors from the style guide in the project and of course if you have any questions or comments or uh, idea on how to make this course much better and uh, easier for you just let me know in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to follow up on it and work on it and thank you